everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Foxy and this is Foxy Books and Planning. Today I have another unboxing first impression diamond painting for you. This diamond painting is from DXLYMYU Official Store on AliExpress. So I'm just going to pull everything out now. Ooh, that's not good. Girls. Kit, pretty standard kit. Throw it in my pile. That's baggies. This must be a hula can store or related to it. So the picture that I got is this. It is a 30 by 40 and it is the house emblem for Ravenclaw for Harry Potter. It looks like it's 35 colors, mostly blues and browns like I kind of anticipated it being. And, oh, so they do it by number on bag, which corresponds to a symbol, which corresponds to a DMC number and how many diamonds you should have. Um, as a note, before I go look at the canvas or at the drills, there is no 310 in this painting for those of you who care. So it came taped around a foam core, but it looks like it wasn't wrapped super tightly around the foam core because you can see in two spots where the foam core was crushed where I guess they didn't wrap it super tightly around the foam core, so the foam core really was pointless. Tape. Carefully. Right. And like I said, this is a 30 by 40. I actually got this as a, as a present for a friend, so I'm hoping it's gonna turn out okay. Yeah, it's not the sturdiest foam core, so to give you an example, because I just filmed the unboxing for this guy as well. This is the foam core that the Home Fun pictures came wrapped around. And this is the foam core that my Ravenclaw picture came wrapped around. So obviously, they're, they're adapting to the foam core, but they're using a less sturdy foam than one would really want them to use. Put those off to the side for a sec. Let's get a look at this. So like I said, this is a 30 by 40, so it's not a terribly large picture, so I'm hoping it looks okay. I was kind of worried about what size to get because I didn't want to overwhelm myself with blue, but I also wanted it to be big enough that you could actually read, <sighs> that you could actually read the Ravenclaw on it. So let's see. And of course it rips. It's really irritating. Okay. So, the glue kind of wrinkly. And there's a big air pocket right there. And the wrinkles in the canvas. It's a very, very, very low quality canvas. Just so you are aware. Oh! And I'm gonna have to get... Oh, and there's multiple air pockets. Pardon my absence for a minute. I'm just going to take a giant pocket knife and gently pop these holes. The glue is sticky, which is good. And there's two more pockets. So this is a tip and trick that you'll see a lot of people say. If you have bubbles in your canvas, you can pop them and kind of push the adhesive back down. There's going one way. Now let's do it going the other way. And I just ripped the paper like a dumb butt. Okay. Let's we'll see what it looks like on screen. Yeah, you'll be able to read that. Two more 
big bubbles. Man, that's okay. I kind of wish I had better resolution on the eagle because Ravenclaw are the eagles, not the ravens. And the raven looks like it's going to be kind of hard to see. Taking another glance at the picture. Let's see what it looks like. Get the glare out. Yeah, there's no way. Yeah. Then once I put all the drills down, you're gonna be able to tell that that's a raven with feathers and a squirrel in the background. No, oh well, I'll still do it to see how it comes out, but I might not gift it like I was planning. Okay, so kind of disappointed with the canvas. I knew I was going to be going small, but I, the way the picture looked, I was hoping that the picture would be a little more detailed considering that it's basically one thing on a background. And it's okay, but the canvas is cruddy. And you can see where my air pockets were on the back because they were the wrinkles. So let's look through the drills real quickly. Make sure I've got everything. These ones, I understand why they do it because it's easier, but it's harder for me to know that I have enough. Because I'm basically trusting that they managed to measure out the right numbers. And I really should be doing this the way Hooligan does, or the way I do my Hooligans, which is very similar to the way I do my normal drill counts. But what I do is, since the bags are numbered, is I try and get all of one section of the numbers so like 1 through 10, 10 or 11 through 20 that kind of thing kind of all in the same area so I go through them and I'll organize them by number so I'll, I'll do it one two three four and so I can just go through quickly and be like yeah I got everything in that section it takes a couple of minutes longer but I find that it is the most efficient way for me to do it So for example, so 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35. So I know I have all of 30 through 35. One, twenty-two is already in the back. Twenty-three, so twenty, twenty, twenty-two, twenty-four. So Awesome. All right, I 
have all my drills. That's wonderful. So my final thought on this one is I'm really disappointed with the canvas itself. I didn't even actually look at the symbols, did I? The symbols are fairly easy to read. It's a little hard. I'm not sure if you can see. I oh, know you can't see, but the two, the like the three main black backgrounds are a water droplet. Look in the light. Actually. We're gonna get the handy dandy lid board if I can get to it. Be stabilizing. Oh my god. What were they thinking? So if you can see with the light board underneath, and I will even try to bring it closer up so you can see. So the symbols for the background, there's a spade, a water drop, and a water droplet. And if you're not looking at it just right, they look the same. So that's brilliant. Freaking brilliant. But we'll have to see. This will be another one that I do. It probably won't be for Christmas, considering I wouldn't give my friend something I wasn't happy with the final product of. And right now I'm not happy with the getting product, so I'd have to see how it goes at the end before I hand it over to her. Um, but I'll have to reserve my judgment for the end. On this foot, they're not starting out on a great foot with me, but it'll be a nice kind of smaller picture to do in between some of the bigger ones, just like the other two I showed you um, in my previous videos. Um, with that, I will... Talk to you all in my next video. Please remember to like and subscribe. If you all have dealt with this particular company before, again, the company's name is DXLYMYU Official Store. Let me know your thoughts if you've ordered from them in the past, what you think of their canvases or their pictures in general. And I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye.